Hey guys, this is Dakman back with another video. Guys, before I get started, let me go ahead and address the name change to this series. I had been calling it my Let's Talk series, and those that have followed me a long time know that I've made a lot of these topic videos over the years, and I've titled most of them something like, Let's Talk About Whatever. So when after several years I finally decided to make it an official series, you know, like YouTubers are supposed to do, I just went with the most common title I had used. Well, fast forward a couple of months and I get a private message from another DCUO creator saying I took their series name and I was like, look, there is no way I took their, well, that actually is kind of close. And so obviously I don't want anyone to think that they were copying me or I was copying them. So I said I would just change my series name. Discussing DCUO is what it's going to be called now. I mean, honestly, how many ways can you say you're going to talk about something? So that's what I came up with. Just to check, I punched the series name in and no videos popped up, so I'm going with it. And without the way, let's get on to the topic. So what if DCUO had nothing to do with DC? I mean, it sounds somewhat crazy to even ask because, you know, we've been playing alongside all these famous DC characters and all these famous DC locations for years now. I mean, how can you separate them? Well, over the years, I've said in a handful of videos and many times when talking to my league that I think some aspects of the game or choices made would have been better if the devs didn't have to contend with staying inside the DC universe. The fact is, many decisions the dev team wants to make in regards to the story and style have to be approved, and that could be a challenge. So today, I'm going to ask you to turn your imaginations on and let's explore this thought. What if DCUO was some MMO called... GCUO, you know, Generic Comics Universe Online. Now, I think there are three things specifically that could have been better. First, there would be no limit on the amount of types of powers that could have been used. You know, without the need to make something fit into the universe, we you know, could have already had maybe a healing light power. You know, could we have had a power with all the elements? You know, what about mutants? I think it would have left room for more creativity when designing power sets. Second, I think not having source material from one of the world's most popular IPs would have made the storylines work far better with the amount of content given with each episode. I've always thought that one of the worst things in DCUO has been the storytelling, and that's because they attempt to tell these large and sometimes intricate stories that are you know, well known by a lot of people in three to four pieces of content. I think if they were outside these already told stories, they could have easily told much better and more fleshed out stories with that amount of content. And lastly, I think the styles would have been much better received if they weren't being compared to the styles of these legendary and iconic characters. As an example, let's look at the Wonder Bracers we just got. It's a style that I personally thought looked pretty good, but because it doesn't match the iconic look of Wonder Woman that people are used to, there were many players that just didn't like it. Now, I think if we were playing GCUO and we'd been given these as the marvelous Amazon bracers, you know, with no ties to an iconic character, I think people would have felt much different about them. Now, this is obviously not an exhaustive list because the point of the series is to spark conversation, not belabor points. So I want to move on to the flip side of this discussion and consider the main reason DCUO may not have been better as GCUO. And I'm going to do that in the form of one simple question. How many people would have even tried the game if it wasn't tied to the DCIP? I mean, DCUO isn't a large game, but I have to wonder how many people that still play today would have even tried it if it wasn't connected to DC and its iconic characters, stories, and locations. After considering it for a while, I have to be honest and say that while it was a couple of my real-life friends that talked me into downloading the game, I probably would have excused my way out of playing it if I didn't know that I would get to visit Gotham City run the same world with Superman, and take on iconic villains like Lex Luthor. So while I think I would have liked many aspects of the game better, I ultimately don't think I would have ever played the game to know the difference. So guys, it isn't much of a discussion if you don't talk back, so let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think the game would have been better as some generic superhero game, or do you think it needs the DC Universe to even exist? And guys, that's all I got for you today. I appreciate you watching, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Guys, thanks for watching to the end of this video, and if you liked what you saw, head down and leave me a like and a comment. If you haven't subscribed already, that option should be available on the screen, along with a couple of options if you want to see any more of my content. You can also follow me on Twitter at Dak underscore Mangamer if you want to connect with me there. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to you in the next video.